Am I the asshole for choosing a wedding date that my parents don't approve of? I and my fiancé are getting married next year. We've both always wanted a summer wedding so we chose a date in that season. Everyone agreed to help in any way they could, including my stepmother Ava who insisted that she helped to find a venue. We had a few site visits scheduled, but she usually came through for us so I trusted her. But if I'm being honest, Ava and I haven't always had the best relationship, because of how demanding, aggressive, and mean she can be. Regardless I always tried to keep the peace both as a child and even now as an adult. She's done a lot for me so I didn't want to be ungrateful. When she did something wrong, dad often told me that it was just how she is but I never truly got used to her. My bio mom, while she couldn't do much for me financially, is the opposite of Ava, so it was hard to accept Ava because my own mom never stressed me out like that. A while back, my fiancé and I went back to our hometown. We usually stay with my parents or hers. While we were with my parents, I asked Ava how the venue was going. She aggressively asked if we changed the date yet. The date we chose is the day after her birthday and she likes to travel during that time. I said no and explained that it was the tentative date we had for now. She angrily stormed off. Not a surprise. It was always her way or the highway, but I felt like just this once, they would make an exception for my wedding. When she came back, she immediately started telling us how disrespectful we were for choosing that date and not changing it. Before I could speak, she screamed, with profanities at us to get out of her house. We felt humiliated, getting berated by her whilst packing. A few days later, my fiancé wrote a discreet FB post about the situation, sharing her thoughts from the experience. I didn't really want her sharing it on FB but I felt guilty putting her through that. She was never comfortable around Ava and she always said this but I kept reassuring her that everything was okay. My mistake. She always tried to be chill but has always hated my family's dynamic of just sweeping Ava's behavior under the rug. I got a call from dad shortly after because the post got attention. Even though he admits that she shouldn't have done that since the house belongs to them both, he still tried to get me to see it her way as usual and proceeded to make the situation about the FB post and how we never included them in the wedding plans. I politely let him know that there's no compromise here and that we want an apology. I don't know I've just put up with her for so long, and I felt like this was the last straw. We had no issue reconsidering the date, it was just her usual bully approach that was unacceptable. My bio mom, my fiancé's mom, and other people who know about this share our sentiments, but at this point, we both want to just take all our money and elope then travel away from the drama. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole, but if you want to remain married, stop making excuses for your stepmother and start backing your new wife. She seems to have the measure of Ava and you know Ava is pulling a power play move over this. Tell your dad you're an adult now, capable of making your own decisions and if Ava continues to disrespect you and your soon-to-be wife, you will have nothing to do with her. He's an enabler who is putting her unreasonable behavior ahead of the rest of his own family. Not the asshole. This is your wedding and you have it on the date you want. Do not let your bully of a stepmother and your doormat of a father derail things. Not the asshole. She expects to get whatever she wants. She can be disappointed for once. Sorry, but I am LOLing over the comment, my fiancé wrote a discreet FB post about the situation. There is no such thing as a discreet post on FB. My suggestion would be to take the wedding money and travel. Not the asshole. ESH discreet Facebook post is absolutely hilarious. Why was that date chosen? Does it hold some significance to your relationship with your fiancé? It is weird to choose the day after a parent's or step-parent's birthday, especially knowing what they do for it. Not the asshole, it's your and your gal's day, do what you want. Simple, end of story oh, and that stepmother sounds like a nightmare. Sorry, dude. Time to make new boundaries for you and the wife-to-be.
Remember, getting married is the beginnings of a new family, so keep that family safe and happy and someday they'll do the same for you. Not the asshole but I don't like people airing drama on FB or other platforms. Your dad and Ava suck more but honestly was this post on FB necessary? Ava sounds exhausting so just plan the wedding and maybe your life without her. I think that would be an improvement. Not the asshole. Your stepmother is an abusive bully. That's the all of it. I'm confused. How do you have a date but no venue? Normally you pick an approximate time of year and a day of the week, then you visit venues and fix the date based on their availability. If it was the only date the dream venue had available, I can see why you'd pick it, but if you haven't even got a venue yet then it's all just moot. Sh, because you're all fixating on a date for no reason. Did you not decide on the venue first? The date usually depends on the availability of the venue so I'm a bit confused why you chose this specific date. Could you clarify how you came to choose this specific day to get married? Did you want stepmother to look for a venue that could host the wedding on a day she herself would be traveling? Because I understand why she would be offended by that. Your stepmother seems like a lot in the way you describe her and she reacted in an aggressive way, she should apologize for the way she reacted. I'm not sure she'd still get an invite to the wedding with that kind of behavior. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, but. It was always her way or the highway, but I felt like just this once, they would make an exception for my wedding. So she picked highway. And? You have your wedding date, and everybody gets to choose or not choose to attend. Please, go read the book when I say no. I feel guilty and learn how to stand up for what you want. Not the asshole but if you both already know how she is, why would you trust her with something so important like the venue for your wedding? That makes no sense. Not the asshole. Your wedding, your rules. If stepmom doesn't like the date, she can skip the wedding and go traveling as usual. Her absence sounds like it would be no great loss anyway. I'm all for eloping. Spend the money on a great vacation and have small party or barbecue when you get back. My BFF just dropped like 20k on a huge wedding, a few months later and she wishes she wouldn't have. Not the asshole and whatever you decide, don't worry about your stepmom. Do what's best for you guys. Not the asshole. In addition to what other posters have said, please start looking for your own venue. Ava sounds like she has no intention of being helpful until she gets everything she wants. Not the asshole. Your wedding, your decision. The date of the wedding is not even on Ava's birthday, it is the day after. She seems to be very dramatic, controlling and entitled. Your dad has a great opportunity here to actually have a serious talk with her. She could also go on a trip alone with some girlfriends if that is so important. I believe you would be just as happy to have just your dad there without her. Stay strong and united with your fiancé on this. Not the asshole, except for the FB part. Why does everyone feel that they should post all their personal crap on there? Yes, I know it was your fiancé, but you bear some responsibility as well. Do your wedding your way and don't involve your dad or his immature wife. Absolutely not the asshole. The only people whose desires for a wedding truly matter are the ones who are getting married. If your stepmother has a problem with that, that's her problem. And it sounds like you're already aware of the kind of person she is, as well how your dad is a doormat, and aren't really shocked by how they're acting. I hope you're considering going low or no contact, especially if this starts to adversely affect your relationship with your fiancé. Not the asshole enjoyed the wedding you want. You do know that if you invite her to your wedding she will try to make the day all about her? Not the asshole. The woman is way out of line. Weddings hopefully a once in a lifetime event Trump birthdays hopefully an event that runs into the 80s. Your father is wrong for backing her on this. Family, no matter how close, do not get veto power on what day a couple decide to get married. Stick to your guns on this one.